hello, hello. Yes, okay, it is recording. <laughs> uh, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Honkai Impact 3rd. So before we get started with the story, there is something over here. Yes, I have unlocked another Valkyrie. Yes, it's May again. <laughs> um, oh, this got me an achievement. I'll take that. What in the world is my cat doing in the background? She's messing around with a box. <laughs> Anyways, so what happened last time? Um, a lot of things happened last time. There were two uh, gray serpents. Uh, uh, Lilia's in danger, I believe. Uh, Kevin Kozlana is here. What is what is Kevin doing here? Oh, that's not what I meant to click. I did this right. Yeah, this was the thing with Schrodinger. Okay. Okay, it said at least one Teresa, if I remember. Yes. No, no, I'm not trying to switch seal out. I just want to put Teresa in. And... Oh, wow, you're level 70. Okay, we'll use Sakura. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Hand armor can be broken, yep. Ah, ah crap. Okay. Oh, you're also not great against this. Rosalia gazed at the giant beast with despair. It only unleashed a feral growl. A vortex of chains tore through the air, forcing the enemy to back off. <laughs> 
The Grey Serpent spoke in a cruel, sadistic tone that pierced the truth of the matter. The girls dared not attack for fear of injuring Lilia within the beast. Every passing moment pushed Lilia into greater danger. Teresa suffered from the same. The activated Honkai genes whittled away at her consciousness. Desires for blood and destruction clouded her mind. Senses became heightened. Minor cuts caused extreme pain. But it also enabled her to detect something that she wouldn't normally notice. It didn't come from her arms, but the chains twined around them. The chains of Judah sent irregular vibrations to her body. BAM! A titan landed right in front of Rosalia and deployed its shield. Cocolia's weak voice could be heard over the comm links. She was gravely wounded and could hardly keep herself standing. Bam! The blue Asaka smashed one of the titans into pieces. But dark chains sprung out from the debris and fastened themselves around the beast. Oh, come on, Rosalia, I believe in you. I believe in you. Dark chains danced around Teresa, whose eyes shone like the setting sun. Warning, active element level critical. The cold voice whispered in her ears, reminding her of a potentially fatal choice to make. But she made up her mind. Level 4 restrictions lifted. Ooh. 
new skills. Okay. Augment core. Okay. Now, hang on, let me read that one out loud. Einstein once warned Teresa that unlocking Blood Knight Phase 3 was risky, and reaching Phase 5 may have disastrous consequences. But they both knew what choice Teresa would make. At this very moment, Blood Knight gave way to the Twilight Paladin. Crimson blood gave way to dark twilight, like a bleeding sun fleeing before the ebb of night. Blood night, moonlight, finally assumed its true form. Now, it wants me to use an ult at least once, so... Give me this. Ah! Let me around you. I'm sorry, Seal. Swoosh. Teresa clenched her chains to rein the monster in. Black chains leaped, twisted, and danced back and forth. The solium links groaned and screeched on the verge of breaking. The monster was finally bound. Rosalia opened her eyes with determination. It was her time. Rosalia, 
Rosalia began to run. She leaped over the chains and debris and dashed right toward the trapped beast. This feels like the moment for a CG or an animation of some kind. Lilia's voice flowed like a stream into her heart. She lifted the great sword to strike the monster with all her might. The monster suddenly broke free from the chains and swung its giant right arm at the girl. Ah, crap. His attack missed. The fist glanced across her blade and missed her by a hair's breadth before being viciously deflected. Rosalia had seen how Lilia retaliated against her enemies in numerous battles, and now Lilia's signature move would carry Rosalia through. After spitting out his last words, Grey Serpent's broken body exploded and turned into ashes. <笑>ね。<笑> 天命の博士。Rosalia. Um, at least one seal or Vita, at least one May or Sakura, and cast Alt at least one time. Hello again. Sakura。取り返しがつかなくなる前にやめるんだ。君のしていることは人類を裏切ること。人類を裏切る。凛は無実じゃ。あの子は何もしていない。勝手にあの子を危険だと決めつけ、監禁するなと許さ。Oh sh
特殊な崩壊エネルギー反応を検出した紛れもなく彼女は第一の一者だ崩壊エネルギー反応が何時何時もわらわも体に崩壊獣の因子が入っておるしかしわらわたちは人類を守る融合戦士じゃリンには症状がない彼女は力を制御できるのじゃ人に危害を加えることはない何時ら何時らがあの子の人生を奪うなど許さんさくら気持ちはわかるよでも大獣一律者の力は皆の想像を超えていた誰も厄災があんな形で降臨するとは思っていなかったあれほどの損失を二度も耐えることはできない I kind of expected Kevin to have like a Somewhat deeper voice, not gonna lie. A voice with a bit more gravitas to it, you know? Lin no Jokyo a Tokshuga. Tanshio Shinakiba Naranaida. Nay Hakase no Handa or Shinji de Cre. Nay Hakase was Shin Dai de Kiruga. Kio Oga was Shin Yo Naranoja. Anomonodomo, Imama de Do you made a Warawata Chio Mitekitaka. Kevin Nanji Wakata Oroja. わらわはどうなろうと構わんだがリンがやつらの手の内にいることだけは無視できぬそこを引くのじゃさくら火を覆うがには君の力が必要だ僕たちにも君を傷つけたりはしないけど君をここから先に通すわけにもいかないケビン長い間共に戦ってきたがわらわの本当の能力を何時は一度も見たことがないじゃろう。Her katana gave a chilling sheen while his great sword erupted in flames. Time seemed to freeze. The silver haired soldier walked slowly to his targets with blazing sword in hand. One step, two steps, and then they disappeared. Huh? Yeah, that's what I want to know. His, he turned around instinctively and saw that his targets were already behind him. Okay, which one of you did something? That seems like something Seal could do. They kept running without looking back. It was then when the alarm went off. Oh shit. Infected soldier. Is this a new enemy type? Oh. I meant the one with the, like, bob haircut specifically. These, I realize, are just reskinned versions of existing enemies. Excuse me. You know what? Oh, yes, I should definitely be using Sakura here. Oh, my God.
Oh, well, hello, Veliona. Ah, uh, what's going on? Oh, I did not cast an ult. God damn it. What is going on there? Um. Okay, so it was Sakura that teleported us behind Kevin, not Seal. I'm going to shuffle this team around. Ah, I see. Up against Veliona here. Charging can be interrupted by quick, frequent attacks. なんじの体内の成功に少し異常があった。先ほどの騒動と関係しているやもしれぬ。しかし、今はもう大丈夫じゃ。ゼレ、また暴走したんですね。ゼレ、力を持つことで自分を責める必要はない。いつかそれは何
but even the alter ego failed to control the stigma's outburst in this instance. An unknown force, like a demon whispering in her ears, quickly took over. I see. Yeah, this kind of enemy was what I was talking about earlier, I think. Sakura dashed along the corridor. The intensifying alarm kept rattling her nerves. The cell was unlocked. Sakura charged in. And there in the room... Her eyes searched for the familiar face. Oh no. Oh no. The air smelled of spilled blood. Sakura's eyes widened. The sight burned a mark in her memories. <gasps> Seal muffled her mouth and tried hard to swallow that cruel word. But they still found a way to her shivering voice. The cuts and wounds testified the final moments of despair and terror of the young girl. Who would do such a diabolical thing? 
but it no longer mattered. Nothing was left in this place except for evidence of malice. Footsteps approached. Monsters lurking in the dark stalked their prey. Fiery flames come swirling in, reducing every zombie to dust that scattered in the wind. A silver-haired warrior stood in the heart of this firestorm. Kevin's gaze swept across Seal and filled her heart with fear. But Seal was not his target. Having defeated every zombie, Kevin extinguished the firestorm. He walked up to the two girls. She did not answer. Like her recently deceased sister, Sakura's heart was swallowed by the abyss. Shock, denial, rage, or tears. He thought about a million possibilities. But Sakura simply sat there, drowning in the nightmare of her reality and refusing to wake. He shook his head and connected to the calm channels. しか無実の妹さんを守りたかっただけです。第リンは本物のリッチ社だよ。桜は自分の行動に責任を持たなければならない。でもそれはリンの意思じゃないです。軍人たちが彼女を殺さなかったらこの悲劇だって起こらなかったはずです。たとえ軍人たちを止めていたと
Her voice froze the air. Sakura stood up and gazed at Kevin with her vacant eyes. あの子に愛を行く。バカか。彼女はもう忍じゃないんだ。桜お姉ちゃん、行かないで。ずる。どこを突き上げ。桜お姉ちゃんは。危険だから行くのじゃ。何時はわらわを止めない。スリムは人と
I'm gonna cry. She seemed to smile as life ebbed from her eyes. Maybe she saw something that only she could see. The final embers of life left her eyes with her last words. The bubble slowly extinguished with the life of the mantis. Her gentle sobs faded into the darkness and left nothing but silence. アキレウスも彼女の遺体を故郷に連れて帰った。しかし、そこにたどり着いた時、僕が目にしたのは何もないハイドだった。律者は地下の格納庫を掌握して、ミサイルを発射し、人類に残されたたった三つの都市を破壊した。僕は